A breast reduction or a reduction mammoplasty is an operation that essentially aims to reduce uh, the size or volume of the female breast and at the same time hopefully um, allows the breast to be repositioned on the chest wall giving a much better aesthetic result and form to the breast. It's always a very personal view as to whether breasts are too large or too small but a lot of the patients that come to see us for breast reduction surgery are um, concerned not only about the shape, shape and size of their breast but also about the knock-on effect that this can have and particularly many patients complain of ache in their neck, ache in their back, ache across their shoulders and simply carrying around breasts which may well weigh in excess of 10 kilos can be problematic especially as we get on in life. The operation itself uses a, a, an incision which runs around the areola running down to the chest wall and then running across in the crease underneath the breast across the chest wall. Through this incision we're able to remove not only the excess skin but also the excess breast tissue. The scar around the nipple generally heals very well indeed. The scar running up and down the breast can sometimes stretch over time and occasionally the scars underneath the breast on the chest wall can become slightly red and lumpy for a while before generally settling. Reduction mammoplasties or breast reduction surgery can take anywhere up to about three hours depending on the size of the breasts, how much tissue you're removing, how much skin you're removing and also the exact technique that you've opted for. In terms of recovery it's always good to give yourself probably up to four weeks afterwards. After that, people can return to gentle exercise of walking and depending on their job, back to work. The risks to a breast reduction surgery uh, can really be divided into those of any operation, such as bleeding, infection and scarring, and then those that are specific to a breast reduction. The procedure itself, because it involves cutting skin and also lifting the breast off the chest wall, can result in changes in feeling to the skin and also specifically a change in the sensation to the nipple and that uh, sensation may be lost and that may be on a permanent basis. The other significant side effect that we sometimes see is something called fat necrosis or bruising in the fat and this is when the blood supply to an area of the breast hasn't uh, been maintained during the operation and that area of fat slowly dies off and produces a hard area within the breast. Very occasionally this needs to be operated on again, but in most cases we can just sit it out for a number of months and the body takes away the hard area and everything softens up. The effects uh, themselves are really very long lasting, although the breast as you get older in life does contain more fat, so if fat is put on elsewhere sometimes the shape of the breast can change as well, but in general it's a permanent reduction that's uh, maintained for many years 